joined by Heath Ogg and Alex Dolan after Griswold's 48 to 6 victory over Nottoway Valley. Heath, first of all, do you have any idea how many touchdowns you scored tonight? I do not. You scored six. <laughs> you had all of them, but uh, but Spencer's well, was on the opening drive, I think. So I'm sure it's got to be a, a career high. Yeah, it is. What was working for you out there tonight? <laughs> the line was. <laughs> they were blocking well. When you guys don't have the game breaking ability like you do with Jade not here, you gotta kinda grind it out a little bit more. You don't have as many chunk plays, but do you get a sense you were just wearing them down play by play throughout the game? Yeah. Like you said, we were they were getting tired and so were we, but we stuck it out. Uh, I think it was twenty six carries. Something like that I think it was. You ever carried the ball that many times before in a game? No, I haven't. Nope. How you how you feeling right now? I'm tired. What's it like though to be the to be the one inflicting the punishment out there 26 times? It's nice, it's really nice. Tell me about the the play over there also where you rolled over a guy. That was that was beyond <laughs> me. I don't know how I did that. What uh, did you, did the game plan call for you to have a major uh, role in tonight's game? No, I did not. I was just filling in for Jason. Do you guys go on feel like if a back gets into a rhythm? Coach just starts giving you the ball more. How do you, how does he determine who gets the ball? Yeah, definitely on feel. If the back's running hard and the line's blocking good for that one play, he'll just keep running. You don't probably know what your total was either, do you? No. It was 100 and 190. Is that a career high also? Yeah, I think so. <laughs> <laughs> did you set any kind of goals this year in terms of something like this? I did not. No. Not for running back. 190 yards, six touchdowns. What will go through your mind when you hear those kind of stats? I'm amazed. Alex, you had a. Uh, did you block that? Did you block that end of the no, punt? No, the, the personal protector, uh, when he, uh, he punted it, he punted, he punted it right into the guy, so. Okay. I just, I just grabbed it. Well, so I saw you talk to Brandon for the game, and you mentioned about being the last home game of your career, so how much of that emotion was flowing through you tonight? I, it just made me want to play as hard as I possibly could. I, I just I don't want to leave anything out, to, out here tonight. I want to be drained and tired and not want to move tomorrow morning. When you hear numbers like I just laid out there for Heath, what kind of sense of pride does that give you of what you guys accomplished tonight? Uh, it makes me feel really good. It, I'm sure it makes the line feel really good too, knowing that we can pick up the linebackers and that me and Jerry can go out there and get those other guys so we can go outside. Do you get a sense during a game when you guys can, are about to roll off a big total, you can get a sense like this is going to be a big night for us? Yeah, most of the time. <laughs> did, did, was that a sense right away tonight or was there a certain moment you felt like we... We got these guys in the bag. Um, I knew, I knew. Like if we if we did our jobs, we we, we were gonna be fine. So what is this now? Four road games in a row to finish up, something like that. Yep. So what what are you guys gonna do to have some success on the road? A bunch against some stiffer competition. Just when we go up there, just just be relaxed, get some cards, and listen to some music, take a nap. Just we're not we're not gonna make a big deal out of it. All right. Appreciate it, boys. Thank yep. you. Thank you.